I'm gonna clean a litter tray out again. You've been busy, cat, hey? Rat cat food or something, eh? You've been doing some rat cat food lately, eh? Smells. It's good when they're toilet tray. It's easy to clean up after them. You know what, Biscuits and Charlotte? Can't even bloody see anything in there in the camera. Uh, I get over yours, well. I've got some ceiling fans from the house next door. They put modern ones in, they spruce it up, and they do look a lot better. That one's from 1993, this one's from 1987, I reckon. To judge them by the styling and the build quality of it, made in Hong Kong. So, as opposed to made in the rest of China. Hong Kong's typical uh, mid, early to the late 80s, very early to late 80s, made in Hong Kong. Higher uh, quality too, look, solidly, solid, more solidly built than that modern Chinese one. So, well, maybe we've got a foot by seven foot microfarad, 350 volt AC capacitor from the motor. Good terminal blocks. I mod these into um, uh, the generator, wind turbine generator. And those bearings won't fit my dishwasher motor. Unfortunately, Ugh, heavy. <coughs> Bit of a shame. I was hoping one of those bearings would be the same size, but they're not what I need. That's obviously got a hollow shaft that the light fitting and the cords go through. So the shaft stays put, but this old, um, the winding stay put and the uh, air to stator rotates. Kind of damage to getting the bloody thing back in exactly how I got it out. That's the trouble, just getting them back in straight and allowing these uh, bolts to come through again. As you can see, I stuffed it up. That's a, I didn't mark um, or pay attention to the way it came out. So now I've got to find out how to put it back in properly. But the mod you're going to do, you're going to drill these out, and put in neodymium magnets all around here. And that takes them to a, a generator. Because this normally stays still. This doesn't spin. This stays still, and the outer part spins. And there's motors, you've got a outer um, set of windings for the high speed, uh, the yeah, high speed, and the inner set for the low speed. Quite interesting how these are built. The older ones are obviously better. There you are. Drilling this is going to be a challenge because it's um, going on the ends of the uh, eliminations here of um, this, the uh, stator. Normally the stator doesn't rotate, but in this case, this is a rotor. And this is a stator. Bearing shut it up quite nicely. It's silent step by putting a tiny bit of silicon spring in there. But yeah, you just sort of, this just pulls out, it just presses in. These little fins are what hold it in place. And what you're supposed to do, these big bits here, pay attention to those big areas, because that's where your screws for your blades come through. I didn't uh, pay attention to that when I pulled this apart and I put it back together wrong. And it's got to be centered too, so if I pull this back out, we'll be able to um, drill these out, drill sections of it out to put neodymium magnets in. Most likely one there, there, and there, and there is going to be the easiest. Um, a magneto flywheel from a small um, petrol engine, small engine, if, if we can get one to fit in there, and make it sit in there, it'd be even better because it's got the, the perfect shaped magnets to go around here. But yeah, modern these isn't really all that difficult. You just got to draw these out and stick in some neodymium magnets. And that'd be it. And that will have enough um, to all you, need, all you really need to do to turn this into a wind turbine. Wattmaster brand. The other one's a Bonnie made in China. Pretty heavily built. I kept the light fitting off that fan. Nice vintage HPM. Bit of an arc in there actually. Gee, what's happening in there? It looks like a bit of a paint splatter or pins being arced. Could quite a little uh, lamp light fixture. That came off a floral light from the bathroom, an old um, uh, PR light fittings, and it was a. What brand is it? Kempthorn, I think. Off the camp for my light fitting for 1977. There's two uh, other, the other half of it was broken. 
you know, connector. You can easily replace it on these older ones. Good old Kemp horn. That came, this was 1977. Regional to that house. Even as old as that dishwasher. Anyway, so yeah, the other one is that one. So yeah, your end bits, you just screw those plastic nuts on, and they hold the end shrouds on, which is where your diffuser goes in. Quite like that. Very, very usable too, these old ones. You can rewire them and replace them. The new ones are wires just clip in, and that's it, they're just a uh, disposable fitting. And there's one that's broken. And in theory, if I had a heap of spare parts, I could replace this and fix this lighter. It's even got an, um, Strip guide how, how long to strip your wires. That's cool. Patent applied for, made in Australia. I kept the uh, terminal block out of it, which is on this wire somewhere. End again made starter, Zenith, pier light fitting. What I don't like about these, you gotta undo the thickened starter and you just can't pull the bastard out, they grab. Annoying so, on some fixtures. There's a, the ballast, Soltra. 8 for 17, 7, 240 by 50 hertz ballast for 1200 long 38 diameter, 38 mm diameter, 40 watt lamp. For power factor, didn't have a capacitor, but if it did, it would have a 2.8 or a 3.5 microfarad, depending on if it's power factor or 0.8 or 0.9. In this case, the light didn't have a capacitor. No power factor collection was needed, so it had a good 40 watt ballast. Terminal block in this thing. Nearly, little terminal block. I think. What brand's that one? Esco. Interesting. A bit too small though. The one in the dishwasher is all burnt out. I'm going to replace it, so I'm going to have to um, find one a bit bigger than that. Unless a 15 amp one. Um, I've come up with an idea to fix this plane. I might... Yeah, you can see this belt's all my stuff too. It's gone through there. The uh, Azedo modern, my modern um, electric planes have a square, square um, teeth in the, in, the, in the pulleys as opposed to the old um, serpentine V-shape. So the new belt won't fit as nice with all, all moulding. The yeah, Azedo belt I got somewhere. I can replace this belt with. This thing is not going to come apart. This drum is stuffed. I can't even pull it apart to sharpen those blades. It's so rusted. So instead of burning it out, I might make it fit in the go on there and extend it, bolt it onto a little um, table with an enclosed area. I might do some CD shadowing with this. Good for CD rub and record shadowing, like um, Blue Smoke Productions did. It's good for that. And um, I'll also try to swap on these two pulleys around. Doesn't work. We've got left hand and the right hand thread. They're turning against each other to tighten themselves up as this thing lunges, so the pulleys don't fly off. So yeah, I was hoping to swap these two around, get this guy on stupid speeds, but no, doesn't work. Wrong thread. Even if we try to screw them on backwards, doesn't work. All upside down. You know, be a good uh, CD ROM shadow like that one. Make up a table for it and we can start shadowing some CD ROMs and stuff with it. <laughs> Belt's a bit loose too, stretched. Um, yeah, the uh, dishwasher motors have to be uh, shelved for now until I can find a bearing for that. I don't have a, um, any bearings to suit it, unfortunately. Unless someone can easily get hold of one, they can send me one, but. It's shelved for now. Ugh. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.